Good morning, YouTube. Um, I've decided to do something that I probably should have done a long time ago. Many of you are having problems uh, connecting into the server, and it's it's simply because there's two mods that are picky. If you don't install them 100% correctly, they will not work, and no matter how many times I say it, uh, people aren't doing it properly. So, I've gone ahead and created a KSP multiplayer mod pack. Basically, the mod pack is a zip file. And what it contains is all the necessary mods pre-extracted. So the only thing you have to do is download this mod pack, copy this to your game data folder, make sure there's nothing else other than the squad folder, and you'll have everything you need to go on the server. From now on, I'm going to post the link to this Dropbox file underneath every single one of my videos. Um, this way, if one of the uh, devs updates one of their mods, it won't matter because I already have this version. So until I update this, you don't have to worry about it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it's going to be. I'm going to post the link in the video, so it's going to bring you here to this Dropbox uh, site. Um, the, the whole file extracted is about 50, 55 megabytes. I've compressed it as best I can to help with people with slower download speeds, although if you have a slow enough download speed that it takes you a while to download 24 megabytes, you're probably not going to be able to play on the server very well because KSP needs a lot of juice to run that multiplayer. But Okay, so we're going to download the file, and you just got to wait for this to finish. Da, 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 da. Okay, so when you open it, you have your link. Now, me, I've created a shortcut for Kerbal Space Program, um, but basically you go to your C drive, Program Files times 86, and then you got to go to your Steam folder, and then go to Steam Apps, Common, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, that's a crash folder here. Okay, so Game Data, this is what you want to focus on. Now, see, I already have the mods installed, but I'm going to go ahead and delete mine just to show you. The only one you should have in here is Squad. If you have anything else in here other than Squad, either you're using an old version, a cracked version, or you're using mods that aren't going to be supported on the server, so you need to delete them. Make sure the only folder you have is Squad, and make sure your game is 100% up to date. Now, we're going to highlight all of these, and just drag them over. That's, that's literally it. You don't have to do anything else. No more messing around with websites, no more messing around with anything else. That's all you need to do. Now, I'm not 100% sure if my KSP is uh, updated the server because I've just gone ahead and done this mod pack now. But uh, we'll quickly load up the game and I'll take a look. Uh, worst case scenario, I may edit this out, may not. It all depends on how this part goes. <laughs> so, okay, do you want to allow? Okay, hit no for this, okay? You don't want it to check for updates. The only time you care about updates is if I update the mod. So this mod pack will now be standard. I'm going to post it everywhere. And uh, I may, depending on how many people start joining the server, because I already have maybe seven or eight people joining, I may upload a second war server or beef up the players on uh, this one, maybe to 20 each server. There we go. Let's take a look now. I'll just see if it'll let me connect. Okay, so it will let me connect. So, oh, Tyler's on there. Just give me one second. I'm going to say hello. Hello. You are on YouTube. Tutorial video for Modpack. Okay. Just going to disconnect real quick. Okay. I'm going to pretend like this server isn't there. So I'm going to remove it. When you first load in with the mod pack, what you're going to do is you're, it's going to ask you if you want to allow uh, DMP or you, you have to hit yes for that, okay? You want to go ahead and hit add. Now, name, I just call this one war server just because it's I have like four running. Now, the IP, I made it simple because I don't have a static IP. I've made it uh, gaming for the win dot ddns dot net. And the port for the war server is 6701. Uh, 6702 and 6703 are for uh, vanilla um, career and sandbox. So go ahead and hit add server. Now you have the war server there. Now the other thing you need to do is adjust your player name. You can put this to whatever you want. If you go into options, you can adjust your color and whatnot here. Um, don't worry about any of the other settings. So once you're there, you hit connect, and that's going to bring you into the server. Some, for some of you, this will take longer to load in. It all depends. Uh, with more people logging into the server, the server's going to slow down more and more often. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of reset the world um, every now and again. 
I don't know who this Tyler is, but uh, I'll probably end up playing with him. Me and Major Buck are about to go play some KSP, but I'm going to upload this video as soon as I can uh, to get as many of you on as possible. So uh, whenever you're unsure of anything, uh, leave a message below this video here if you have any questions or any problems. If you're still having problems and you still can't connect with these settings, I literally don't know what to tell you because this is super simple. I have tons of people joining this all the time, uh, but I have a select few that are having a really, really hard time with it, and I'm assuming it's because the mods aren't being installed correctly, so I'm hoping this solves that. But uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the server, and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and check out my videos.